I'm sitting at LAX, uh, about to head to London for my dad, the old man's <laughs> 75th surprise birthday party, which of course won't be a surprise by the time you're seeing this, or he's seeing this. Surprise, but it's already been a, a game of JB Black so far, because normally, if I'm going to Europe, I'm going because Fox Sports are paying for my ticket uh, to go to Le Mans or Goodwood Revival or Festival. And I'm lucky because I, I get put into like upper class sometimes. But this trip, it's on my own coin, so to speak. I turn up at the airport because I've been doing this a long time, you know, a long time. I go up to the upper class desk, march straight out there and go, uh, so I have my ticket, um, I, can I upgrade with miles? Because I have a few miles. And the guy's so helpful. Um, and while he's Ladies looking, and I... Ladies gentlemen, we would like to organize the line for boarding. Let's call zones number one and two to line. Traveling with small children and strollers as well. Line up behind They're the passengers who need special assistance. They're going to be on my the road. The rest of our passengers do not block the entrance of the line. Thank you. Anyway, while he's looking whether we can upgrade with Miles, I'm going. And you know, I've, I've been a Virgin Atlantic member frequent flyers for 30 years, since 1986. I've been a Gold Card member three times. Basically, I gave it everything I could. And do you know where it got us? Connie, does my dad appreciate it? Of course he will. You have to think, don't you, that there were people having far worse afternoons than me this afternoon. come into the uh, toilet on the plane because it's the biggest biggest moment of privacy I can find for many reasons it's like a little it's like actually a suite compared to my seat my dad's gonna my dad's gonna appreciate it though isn't he
everyone's asleep. But not, not the crew. <coughs> the crew, because they're brilliant, are working still. But look, everyone else. Very asleep. And I was, I'm just about to. And I was just thinking to myself, what I was gonna say in my speech to Dad on Saturday night. But it steadily got ruder the more hours I'm spending here. Because yes, that's the back of the plane. The front is all the way over there. A long way away from where I am. I think I have to become more successful. It's all fun. Well, what a difference 24 hours makes. I am now at the RAC club at Woodcote Park for uh, Dad's party. And all that airline torment is behind me. I now feel refreshed. In fact, my flu has even been chased away by a couple of cups of good tea. Um, anyway, this is the room where it's going to be. Um, and these are, you know, this is my oldest friend in the world. I mean, as in it literally is. the oldest person. And he goes on ever. and on and on, exactly the same as you always I've known though. James since he had long blonde. <laughs> um, and that's, that's, my, that's my brother-in-law, not that you care. That's my uh, nephew. nephew for being a Anyway, we're about to have a really good time. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little couple of clips of it. Um, it's my dad's 75th birthday. Thank you very much for coming along tonight.